shy. And our Lord did not sin, you know. This is Romans chapter 4 and verse 27. I really want to keep reading, starting at verse 21. Yeah, I'll keep reading because this is touching on the point. Yahweh's righteousness through faith, but now the righteousness of Yahweh apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of Yahweh through faith in Hamashiach, in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to all and on all who believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of Yahweh, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So, so. Uh, as it said, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of Yahweh. That doesn't mean that you go the other direction and continue to backslide. No, that means that you strive more in order to say, okay, I know uh, my righteousness is as filthy rags before the Most High, but I'm going to at least do the best of my ability to, 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 to be, you know, a doer of the word and not a hearer only, you know? Whom Yahweh set forth as appropriation, atonement by his blood through faith to demonst demonstrate his righteousness. Because in his forbearance, Yahweh had passed over the sins that we were previous that we that we were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Yahweh So that word faith is an action word. That entails that you got to do something in order to show that you have faith, which goes into being obedient. As well as prayer, uh, you know, uh, uh, following the high holy days, you know, if, if you're coming into the truth, learning about them, you know, reverencing them, uh, being charitable. There's more than one way that you could help the church, you know. And we touch on that from time to time. Boasting excluded. Where is boasting then? It is excluded by the law. Shalakia. It is excluded by the law of works. No. But by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. Or is he the power of the Jews only? Is he not also the power of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, being the Israelites who had fallen away from their from a, from their heritage. Since there is since there is one power who will justify the circumcised, those who were following the law, statutes, and commandments, the high holy days, and who who have been brought up in them, as as we know, Peter was was Peter was preaching the. Uh, Peter was preaching the circumcision, but Paul was of the uncircumcised. Since there is one power who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Through faith? This is the point. So there's men who have been brought up following the law, statutes and commandments, calling on the true name of the Lord. You know, there's even there's even people who may have been brought up since a childhood doing so. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish it. So that debunks anything that a Christian church has to say. Not saying that, you know, there's not, you know, simply saying they, they claim the law is done away with. They claim the Old Testament is done away with. That completely destroys any type of vain argument. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish it. And that goes back to living by the, by the law. As our Lord tells us, the man who walks by the law shall live by the law. Uh,
I'll see if I wrote, wrote that one down real quick. I got a couple other points. So even as I say, as we uh, say, you know, even things as far as, you know, the soap you use, things that you would have never imagined have pork in it. They're unlawful for you. But even the soap that you use, they put pork in a lot of, in a good amount of soap, even, even candy. They, they, how do you, uh, gelatin, gelatin is made from pork fat. So even a lot of the candy out there is it, it contains a, a large amount of, of pork It's not it's not sugar it's not just sugar no it's, it has a, a base substance that's used to hold the ingredients together and that goes back into pork fat and uh, you know it takes people to, uh, uh, time to study and build a foundation in order to actually know that and i'm gonna touch on that point here in a second this is romans chapter six In verse 10, for the death that he died, he died to, to sin once for all. But the life that he lives, he lives to Yahweh. Likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin. But alive to Yahweh in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. How do you do so? Simply saying you put away that old man. You don't live for the flesh. You don't live for the, for the lust of the flesh. You don't live to, to, to please your body anymore. You live to please your spirit. And how do you do so? By pleasing the one who created the spirit. And how do you do so? Our Lord tells us, if you love me, keep my commands. If you love me, feed my sheep. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey its lust. Okay. So, you know, even those coming into the truth, uh, you know, that, that's a good foundation to start on, you know, establishing the law within your own lives. Our Lord tells us that uh, Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter nine and verse nine, for surely I will command and I will and will sift the house of Israel among the nations as grain is sifted in the sieve. Yet not the smallest grain shall fall to the ground. So our Lord tells us the parable of the wheats and the tares. Wheats produce grain. So so our Lord uh, our Lord refers to the children of Israel as grain. You know, he says yet not the smallest grain shall fall to the ground being those who are fellow believers of the house of faith. So you don't want to be over, uh, you know, overworked up or over uh, overwhelmed as far as realizing all the things you did in your life. Don't don't give into that spirit of saying, OK, well, uh, this sounds like too much work or this sounds like doing way too much in order to get right. No, just start with the law. Start with things in your day to day life that you can change. In order to please the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you know, and then over time, uh, you'll you'll have an understanding of the, the the history, the prophecies, the timelines, you know, all of that is going to come after. Our Lord tells us first seek the kingdom, then all of the things will be added after. That's talking about clothes and food, but even in the truth, you know, first you want to understand how you should be behaving yourself, and then all the the knowledge of the things that have passed. And the things that are coming to pass are going to come into play. But you want to you have that shield of faith strong, you know.
2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 12. For we do not commend ourselves again to you, but give you opportunity to boast on our behalf that you may have an answer for those who boast in appearance and not in heart and not in heart. For if we are if we are besides ourselves, it is not of the most high. So even even the saints would say that they don't uh, glory in themselves, but they glory in the fellow believers when a fellow believer is added to the church, you know. Glorying in the fact that we know the Lord. For we, Shalakia, for the love of Hamashiach compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died. Now that's simply saying that if our Lord Yahawashai walked this earth and died for the sins of Israel, then that should mean that if you believe in the Lord, that you should put away that old man. You know, that old man with all those lust and temptations, all those things that you used to do, put him away. And he died for all, that those who live should should live no longer for themselves, but for him, but for him who died for them and rose again. So we're no longer living for ourselves, but we're, we're living for the Lord. You know, and that's not just lip service. That's actually doing things to please the Lord. The book of Second John's, Second John. Salakia. First John chapter two and verse three. Now by this we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. So as I said, man, men and women, you know, those who may listen to my lessons, uh, if you're wondering where you where you want to start, if you're wondering where the Lord is, is working with you, you know, start with, with uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, you know. Second Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 4. Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive you with persuasive words, which a lot is being taken place in the times that we're in now. For though I am present, in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach. As I said, you know, the saints would rejoice when fellow believers would come into the truth. As you therefore have received Hamashiach, Yahweh the Lord, so walk in him. Meaning you're not living for yourself anymore. We're living for the Lord. So on that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I'm going to end by giving infinite honor, glory, and praise to Ahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom to the Akim and Aguafim out there learning along, doing your due diligence, and making your calling of election sure. Shalom wa Ahab to the hopefully elect. Until next time, Shalom and DTA Abad Babal.